do we write a negative or is it a plus? What happens when we multiply and divide? What if they're both negative numbers? What if one number is more negative than the other? When do the signs change? Why do they change? Oh, why is this so weird? <laughs> To be honest, it's not that complicated. You can do it. It's just about understanding what happens to numbers when you add them, if there are negative numbers involved, and knowing the key things, um, the key things to remember when you multiply or divide negative numbers or a mix of negative and positive, what to do with brackets, and so on. So negative numbers are numbers that have a minus sign, like minus three, minus one, minus two, etc. So the topic negative numbers refers to the operations that we do with negative numbers, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now, addition and subtraction have its set of rules. Multiplication and division has its set of rules. Just gonna highlight that just to give you a visual representation of how different they are, okay? And the rules that we need to think about. I will start with discussing the multiplication because it's quite straightforward and easy to remember. So if we have a negative number and we multiply it by a positive number, the answer will always be a negative. So it will have a minus sign in front. So if we do minus three times four, it will be minus 12. Okay. Now, if we have a negative number times another negative number, it becomes a plus. For example, minus 10 times minus 2. And you'll often see it written in brackets, okay, to bring clarity to the fact that there is an operation in between. So minus 10 times minus 2 would be 20. Because when you multiply a negative, with another negative, it becomes a positive, okay? If we, just to revise again, if we multiply a negative number by a positive number, our answer will always be negative. And just to say that it doesn't matter what way round it is, so long as you're multiplying a negative number with a positive number, the answer will always be negative. Now, when you... Um, multiply a negative number by another negative number, the answer will be positive. So you might ask me, what happens then if we divide? It's the same rules, okay? If we divide the numbers, it's the same. So if we have a negative number divided by a positive number, the answer will be negative. And if we multiply a negative number by another negative, sorry, I did say divide, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. If we uh, divide a negative number by another negative number, the answer will be positive. So for example, if we have minus 20, and we divide that by minus two, again, likely to be written in brackets. 20 divided by two is 10, minus 20 divided by minus two will be 10. Now, if we have a negative number, so let's say minus 10 divided by two, 
we are basically saying that we're just dividing, sharing the minus. So the answer would be minus five. Okay, does that make sense to you so far? Yes. Good. So let's look now at um, some examples and then we'll come back and look at what happens when we add and subtract them. So at the moment, we are working on multiplying and dividing negative numbers. So let's take a look at a sum like 20 divided by minus 5. What do you think that would be? Um, minus, minus 4. Minus four. Positive? No. <laughs> so you've got to choose one side. So what are the oh. rules? Um, um, you, you've got to be confident in your choice. Okay. Um, uh, negative divided by... Uh, positive. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, no, negative divided by negative. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Is a positive. So, yeah, and this time we've got a positive though. So does it change? The answer is minus four. Okay. It is mm -hmm. minus four. Okay. Because the minus takes president does that make sense it has the overall yeah. power okay how about this one so well done minus 40 divided by minus 8 and again that would likely be in brackets what would that answer be 5 and why would it be 5 because a negative number divided by a negative number is always going to be a positive Okay, good. All right, so any questions so far? No. Okay, so let's do a multiplication. Minus three times eight, what would that be? Minus 24. That would be minus 24. Good. And what rule are you using there? Um, a negative times a positive. It's going mm -hmm. to be a negative. Okay, yes. good. So everything's clear on that front. Yeah? And then let's yes. just throw in um, a, an advanced question, like minus 5 squared. What does minus 5 squared mean? Um, minus 5 times itself twice. So minus 5 times minus 5. Okay, good. Whoops. Uh, some to the bracket there. Okay, so minus five times minus five. And so what would the answer be? 25. Good. And what rule are you using there? A negative times a negative is positive. Okay, awesome. Awesome. And finally, let's look at um, and one more example. We have minus 50 divided by minus 10, written like this. What would your answer be? Five. And why is it five? What rule are you using? A negative divided by a negative is a positive. Okay. So that's nice and clear. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So let's go into adding and subtracting negative numbers. So the answer will depend on whether there is more of the positive or more of the negative. So the rules are quite different to multiplying and dividing them. Okay. So if we have minus six and we add two to it, we basically get closer to the positive. That's the, the thought behind it. But 
the best thing to do is to find um is to basically do six minus two which is four and look at the numbers which is bigger minus six or plus two it's minus six so my answer would be minus four the minus six is a bigger number isn't it than yeah. two yeah six is bigger than two so that's where our sign will come from okay so yeah. that's one type of example now if we have uh, that's one example. Another one is minus two, minus one. So we have minus two, and then we go down one again. This is basically two plus one, which is three. Since they're both minuses, we just put a minus in front. That's it. Okay. So it's yeah. very straightforward to understand. And... Um, something like four minus seven um, we don't just say oh it's the wrong way round. it should be seven minus four which is three we can do seven minus four because uh, we're finding the difference but it has to be minus three because the minus seven is more than the four there's more of the yeah. minus so the answer would be minus the other thing to think about is the fact that four is too small to take away seven. And so we can think of it as in it's owing three. It needed three more to take away. So we put the negative to let us know that it wasn't enough. We needed yeah. three more. Okay. But I actually yeah. think it's easier to think of it as four, the positive is a lot smaller than the seven and so than the minus seven rather there's more of the minus seven so when we find um the difference the answer should have the minus in front yeah okay all right so let's do some examples then um oops let's change the color so we've done some straightforward ones. Let's look at some others. So with these, take them step by step. Five minus two is minus three. And then we're going to do minus three minus six, which would be... No. Minus three <laughs> minus six. Minus nine. Okay. And why is it minus nine? Because a negative minus a negative is a negative. Good. So we literally see it like we're going further into the negatives by six. So the number gets bigger in the negatives. Good. How about minus five minus two plus three? So minus five minus two what would that be? Minus seven. So minus seven, and then we're adding three, which makes it what? Answer. Minus four. Good. Okay, so negative numbers are actually quite easy. The issue often is the working out. If there's no working out, then, sorry, the working out, doing it this way step by step, and also the practice. A lot of students don't practice enough of the sums for topics they need and it can seem difficult, but really it's not. So how, how about this? Four plus one is five and then plus five minus two is minus three. So four plus one is five, five minus eight is minus three. Awesome. Okay. And so now let's look at um, another scenario. Let me just clear the page where they start to introduce brackets, but we're still in the subtraction or addition. Okay. Now, whenever we see brackets, it means multiply. Okay. So basically yeah. this area here, 
and let me just highlight this. This bracket is actually multiply times. So it's basically this negative minus that negative. Okay. Sorry, that's not yeah. as clear as it could be. Let me um, let me draw around it again. So it's this negative sign, this minus sign times this one. Okay. So what's the rule? A negative times a negative is a positive. Okay, so that then changes what we're doing uh, significantly. And what it gives us then, if this becomes a positive, we now have six positive, so plus, and then four, which is 10. Okay, does that make yeah. sense? So the yeah. brackets changes the sign, but we still do the operation. So it doesn't become six times four. It just changes the sign for us so that we know what to do. Um, how about minus two plus minus three? One. Yes, one. And are you sure? Minus, oh, yeah, minus one. How did you get minus one? Because um, minus two. Um... So what's the first thing we need to do? We need to look at something. The signs. Okay, and between uh, the signs, between these two signs, what do we have separating them? bracket so which means good so what is positive times negative a negative right so what does it now become what does the sum become <laughs> <laughs>